Hey everybody, it's your online singing coach back today with a new reaction. I really enjoyed seeing the comments. To my first home free reaction, you all gave me some great recommendations and I was totally going to do butts medley today, but, <laughs> pun intended, but I saw a comment from George saying that there was a performance of Nessun Dorma by Austin Brown and Rob Lundquist. I love this piece of music so much, and it's such a contrast <laughs> from Randy Travis, the one I did last time, Forever and Ever Amen. Such a contrast. So we gotta check this one out today. We'll get to butts and some of your other suggestions, so keep them coming in. But today it has to be Nessun Dorma. Let's go for it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> So we've got a cowboy hat on, a baseball cap. Doesn't look very opera oriented, but <laughs> that's the point, right? To be, to shake it up a bit. Ah, whoa. No. sense of humor. Uh, that was so awesome how they walked in with the baseball cap and the country and I was already commenting about all right you know like I guess they're you know they're not getting into the opera vibe <laughs> and they got me they totally got me I wonder how many reactors had the same initial reaction and they're like whoa here we are in the tuxes and they had these smiles on their faces like we got you and you did and I loved it. So Rob, hello operatic tone. He was legit, beautiful tone. Austin, he's a tenor all right. He had a lighter tone, definitely more of a pop oriented tone. For this song, I would say he was more of like a classical crossover artist in terms of his tone. Like he didn't have like as much of a, of, of a rich timbre and a, a full vibrato as Rob, nevertheless, he was solid on his part, very comfortable up there on those high notes, great pronunciation. Again, just knowing that 
the song they just did with country and remember that diction how i commented on the forever and how that was correct for that kind of song obviously that wouldn't work for this kind of classical music but they adjusted like professionals they changed their diction so that it was correct for this kind of song. Um, I liked it how they came together at the beginning, a couple other spots, they came together in a unison to just really power up those notes. I could hear some compression in the recording because they were singing so loud and I would have loved if I was there in person because I'm sure their voices were just echoing and reverberating through that, it looked like a church, I don't know, but, um, that that space there um also did you notice rob was able to open up a little bit more which also might be why he was having a little bit of that richer tone there um more of that arched soft palette within his mouth oh for that vincero that more legit classical sound um whereas austin's vincero really really mixing the tone i love to have this example of two very different voices two very different singers approaching the song differently and yet it working really well so you can see how maybe your voice maybe you're a singer and you're not sure how to hit these notes well you have two ways demonstrated very very well to you here in this song we'll just go back real fast yeah very cheeky you guys Nice little, you know, moment of respect there. <laughs> then he leaves it. And then, love that. <laughs> this little smile. <laughs> I like how Austin looks at him like, uh-huh, we got them. <laughs> they look very sharp, by the way. tapering off of the volume there. So yes, right away, boom, it doesn't take long to know. Right on that first phrase, it's like, boom, he can sing this. He has a beautiful operatic voice. Is this the same guy from the other group? <laughs> yeah, awesome. My Yeah, so I'm just pausing right there because look at that, the, the contrast in tones there, very, very different tones. So let's keep going. It's more of that mix placement, lighter tone, but he's selling it.
chest with, with the mouths there. Rob is very, very open. Vincero. And Austin is more focused on that mixed placement as opposed to arching the soft palate inside. Vincero. So you can hear just by some subtle manipulations of placement and just what you're working with inside your larynx. That was so fun! Such a gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful song. It's a, it's a classic for a reason. I was so surprised by the way Rob really nailed that operatic tone. And I love that, that Austin was a little different. So you could hear how, how different voices can work well on this song. And again, I, I really just appreciated that little humorous twist at the beginning. Uh, that was clever and fun. And I am really looking forward to hearing more from all the home for you guys. So once again, keep your suggestions coming. Hope you enjoyed watching this with me. If you did, please be sure to hit subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time.